Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sarah. Today's video is going to be a little different. I'm gonna be covering things in our homes that we don't typically clean on a regular basis, but we probably should. So I hope this gives you some motivation to clean these same areas in your own home. Don't forget that if you like this kind of content to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get into today's video. All right, so the first thing I'm doing here is just cleaning my ceiling fans. I have this cleaner. I can't remember if I if I bought it at Target or Walmart, but I will have it linked down in the description box for you. Um, it's a cleaning tool that's designed specifically for cleaning ceiling fans. You can like bend the head of it. Um, it's great for cleaning ceiling fans. I know that this is an area in my own home that I tend to neglect um, and don't clean as often as I should. So I don't know if you'll see in this clip or not but there was like actual chunks of dust that were falling off of the ceiling fan <music> I wanted to make sure to get a clip of the cleaning tool I used just so that you could see how dusty this fan was. And this is just one fan in my house. Um, I was pretty grossed out. Okay, the next thing on the list was cleaning my shower heads. Um, like I've said in a previous video or previous videos, um, I only have two bathrooms in my house. So this isn't as tedious as you would think. Um, I was also out of plastic like Ziploc bags, which is rare for me. So I went ahead and I just used grocery sacks and filled them up with vinegar and then tied them around the uh, shower head and let it soak for about 30 minutes to get all the grime and grossness off of it. All right, the next thing on the list was taking down both shower curtains and giving them a good wash in the washing machine. This is something I generally do stay on top of. Um, I typically do it about once a month. <laughs> All right, and then to wash the um, shower curtains, all I'm gonna do is just use a plain laundry soap and some OxyClean and wash it on the hottest cycle that it can go on. <laughs> All right, next up is going to be the kitchen cabinets. This is definitely an area that I do not normally clean on a regular basis, but when you think about it, grease and just grime and all of that just splatters around in a kitchen, so your cabinets do tend to get pretty gross. Um, I did notice, especially when I cleaned the cabinets that are above my stove, they were pretty bad. Um, I think I actually do show a clip of the washcloth after I do it. And to actually clean the cabinets, all I used was a microfiber towel along with with um, some hot water and the Dawn antibacterial soap. <laughs>
Okay, the next order of business is cleaning the top of your fridge. This, as you will see, is extremely dusty, and there's even candy that I found uh, up on the um, fridge from Easter of last year that never even got eaten. Um, but this is definitely one area that I neglect, um, and I definitely want to try to get better at making sure I just like wipe it down once a week. <laughs> All right, next up is the dishwasher, which seems kind of like, why would I wash a dishwasher? But actually, you'd be amazed at how disgusting they are. Um, most dishwashers have a filter in them, which is, you'll see me take mine out, and then I just rinse it under really hot water. Um, and then you'll, I will also show you the cleaning product that I use by Cascade to actually clean my dishwasher itself. <music> And I know that everybody's dishwashers are going to be different and may not have all the same features as mine does, but mine actually has a um, sanitize cycle. So usually whenever I clean my dishwasher, I run it on that sanitize cycle. Um, it just tends to run for a lot longer and really, really hot. All right, so the next thing on my list was to clean the staircase railing. This is something that I just completely don't clean ever. Um, but when I was making a list out of ideas for this video, I thought, oh my gosh, that's definitely an area that I don't clean. And actually wait until you see the Clorox wipe after I've used it. It is disgusting. While I had the sanitizing wipes out, I also took this opportunity to wipe down every single one of the light switches in my house. Um, again, if you think about the ones in the bathroom, the kitchen, just if you think about what touches them and when you touch them, it's just really disgusting. So I went ahead and also wiped all of those down as well. I also wiped down my thermostat. This is, I think, another area that people neglect. It's just something that you don't think about cleaning. I actually got this idea from another YouTuber. Um, as I was watching her video on things that we don't normally clean. And I'm like, oh my gosh, the thermostat is definitely something that you don't think on a normal day or really ever to clean. But I went ahead and wiped that down with a sanitizing wipe as well. All right, the next area is going to be some doors in the house. I'm usually pretty good about wiping down like the bathroom doors and stuff like that when I'm cleaning the bathroom. Um, but I normally neglect my garage door, which is where we come in and out every day, and the laundry room door, which just a lot of like lint and dust and stuff collects on that. So I wanted to go ahead and give those a good wipe down with a multi-purpose cleaner. Okay, next is the washing machine, which again, seems like it might be a little or seem a little funny to wash a washing machine. But again, you'd be surprised at the grime and gunk that can build up over time. So all that I do to wash my washing machine is use white vinegar and baking soda and then just let it run on the hottest cycle for the longest cycle. Um, some washing machines might have a sanitized cycle, but mine actually doesn't have one of those. Um, and then I do know that uh, there are companies that sell things to clean your washing machine and those are perfectly fine to use too. I just like the vinegar and baking soda method. All right, 
right, next order of business is going to be the dreaded couch cushions. I'm always amazed whenever I vacuum um, underneath the cushions, all the amount of junk that has accumulated underneath of the cushion. Um, this is something I do typically do on a regular basis, I'd say about once a month. One area I know I'm guilty of neglecting is the sliding glass door in my living room. Charlotte consistently touches it, licks it, I, you name it, she does it to the door. Um, and I just always forget to clean it. So here I'm just gonna take some glass cleaner and give it a good wipe down. going to go around the house and dust all the tops of everything and the corners. I tend to get a lot of spider webs, which freaks me out. So I try not to think about it too much, but um, yeah. So I like to take my Swiffer duster and go and go through the corners and then the tops of like all of the, the, um, the ledges. <laughs> whatever reason but this day I was having issues with the swiffer duster the duster portion kept falling off I never have that problem but of course when I'm filming it it just had to happen <laughs> All right. And the final two things that I wanted to talk about were to remember to sanitize your remote controls. Um, think of all the dirty hands that touch them, etc. So I just used a Clorox wipe to wipe mine down. The other thing I wanted to mention was if you have throw pillows that have removable covers to go ahead and toss those in the washing machine about once a month, just because of the dander and dirt. And if you have pets, pet hair that collects on them. So just toss those in the wash once a month. Here's an over view of the shower heads after they were sitting in uh, vinegar as well as the cleaned shower curtains. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to, before you leave to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.